We'll guide you through how to download and install Mine Fortress in Minecraft. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Mine Fortress completely adds a whole new dimension and basically game mode to Minecraft. It's super cool, so let's go and get it. First of all, you need to go and quit Minecraft. After you've done that, you need to go and open up a web browser. So I'm just using Google Chrome, but you can use one of your choice. Then what we need to do is go and search for Mine Fortress, like so. You can go to the official Mine Fortress site, or you can get it from CurseForge, it's going to be up to you. What you then can then do is go and read through the description and see all the features and things like that. But to go and get it, you need to go to the right of the description, you then got comments and files, click there. And you can scroll down and go and see the different versions. So in this case, I want to go and get the latest, which is this one here. Just note down the game version here and also the mod loader because we're going to need to know this in a moment. Then click on the three dots to the right and you can click on download file. Shortly it will go into start. As I said, note down the version you got it for and the loader. So I got it for 1.20.2 and for Fabric. So I'll then go and search in Fabric API like so into CurseForge and we can scroll down and click on it. Then we can click on files and we need to go and find 1.20.2. You can scroll back here, but you can also go and set the game version at the top here as well, which I'll just go and do, and here it is. And so I'll go over to the right, click on the three dots, and then go and click on download file. It will go and automatically start downloading pretty quickly, as you can see, like so. Now what we need to do is actually get Fabric itself to go and run it. So you can go and type in Minecraft Fabric, just like so. And you can go to the site at the top here. Then what you want to do is go and click on download, and then you want to click on download for Windows. We've now downloaded what we go and need, but before we get any further, a big shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. They're my go-to Minecraft server host, so if you're interested, I'll put a link down below in the pinned comment and in the description. They've got so many awesome features, like 24 seven servers and support, so you can get live chat assistance for your always online server when you need it, DDoS protection, instant setup upon purchase, automated backups and more as well. So if you're interested, there'll be a link down below as I said, and at the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice as well, which is super good. But now to continue with the install process, come to your downloads like so, and what we first of all need to do is install Fabric. So go and run it like so, you'll go and get this pop-up. What's super important is you then go and set the version for the same version as you got Mine Fortress and the API for. In my case, it was 1.20.2, of course, yours may be different, so make sure you set that correctly. We've now installed it, we can come and close it, and we need to go and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now go to the top of the launcher and click on installations. What you then need to do is go and scroll down until you go and find the fabric loader for the version we got it for. In my case, it was 1.20.2. You can go over to the right and click on the file or folder icon, and then your files will go and open up and you can go and scroll down and find mod. We need to add in Mine Fortress and also the Fabric API as well, just like so. We can then close off these, go to the right of Fabric Loader for the right version, click on play and it should now go and start. And so now let's go and get started. So what we can do is go and click on single player, create new world, and you can then go and set game mode to Fortress. As you can see by default, it already was set there. If it isn't, just click on it. And what we can do is go and click on create new world and start using this brand new game mode. So what you can do is choose a game mode. I'll go and do this in creative and we can then choose where we want to go and place our fortress. 